Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading First Peter uh, chapter 4. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, mm -hmm. arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Mm -hmm. For he that has suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Mm -hmm. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh, uh -huh, to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. Now, for the time past of our life, many may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lasciviousness, yeah, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For for, for this cause yes, was the, de the gospel preached also to them that are dead, <laughs> that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, uh -huh but live according to God in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. <laughs> and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, <laughs> for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. <laughs> Use hospitality one to another without grudging. <laughs> now, I'm very fervent about my want to charity. Yes, <laughs> And um, I was wanting to start a charity called the Five Star Charity. Yes. For those women that are five star volunteers that wanted to volunteer their sexual nerve endings. Now, um, this idea that I'm fervent about wanting to do certain things. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about those that would like to volunteer. Yes. And I think that they should be housed in a five-star hotel. <laughs> I think that they should have this fervent, charitable uh -huh, receiving. Yeah. That I could use hospitality in a five-star hotel. Yes. And a certain woman with very large breasts that has a little extra fat on her fupa. <laughs> Could mm -hmm, come so easy to work every day knowing mm, that she does not want the Illuminatist way of sex. <laughs> She doesn't want the oral fish fixation, and she doesn't want a look-alike deciding what she does with her life. <laughs> now, I'm wanting to destroy the Illuminati today, and <laughs> quite often those that are Illuminatists that put that little lizard in the rectum, <laughs> they are and have walked in lasciviousness, yes, the lusts of orgies and the excesses of wine, <clears throat> revelings and banquetings and the abominable adulteries of... <laughs> really being in the royal family way of doing things. Now, I'm wanting to use some hospitality. <clears throat> See, I like to have my sons, yes, and I like to speak to Marilyn about volunteering, and then I like to buy some very large five-star hotels, <clears throat> fix them up the way that I want them, yes, and then I like to start some businesses where I will have a large amount of taxable income, <clears throat> where I'm going to need tax deductions. Oh, and then I'm going to need all those pensions of every oath of office where they said, no, I'm not liable for all of this. Because every time I make a distribution from your 401k, yes, your retirement plan, your pension, it's non-taxable income to me if I give it for charitable purposes. And quite possibly it might be deductible off of my income, reducing my taxable income and giving me a greater amount of, of money in my pocket to spend on 